Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I'm doing my second round of seed starting for the season. Today I am starting my first round of Snapdragons and these are going to go in my hoop house. Now this is a couple weeks earlier than I started my Snapdragons last year, but I wanted to be able to get a little bit of a jump start on the season with these. So I'm starting two trays. These are going to go in my hoop house. Then a few weeks from now, I'm going to be starting three or maybe four more trays, and those Snapdragons will go out in my garden. I'm hoping to get my hoop house up as soon as the weather clears and the frost is out, and then I will be able to plant in there as soon as possible. So stay tuned for all of that. But today I wanted to share with you my process on how I'm starting my Snapdragons from seed. Now the trays I'm using are 72 cell trays. These are from Greenhouse Mega Store. I'm really excited to use these. I love um, the depth of the seed tray and I also love how they're round. The bottom trays are also really stable. I did a whole unboxing video on these. And then the humidity domes have vents in them, which I think is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna be using these today. I've already um, made out my markers for the varieties I'm starting. And the I'm starting four varieties today. So let me first share these with you. The varieties I chose are um, all pretty pastel light colors. Um, I wanted to start off the season with some of the lighter colors because that's kind of, you know, the beginning of season you think of coming off of Easter and, um, you know, the bright pastels. And then a lot of the other varieties I have for summer are um, brighter, more rich varieties. So I'm starting the Potomac Ivory Snapdragon today. Then I have the Potomac Yellow and the Costa Apricot. I thought these three in particular would really mix together well all together. And then I am starting the Madame Butterfly mix. I did want to start my Madame Butterflies a little earlier, um, but these three main ones, the Potomac Yellow Ivory and the Costa Apricot, I thought were really a good mix together for the early season varieties. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you how I sew these. I think I'll start off with the Potomac Yellow, and Snapdragon seeds are super, super tiny. I used to, when I didn't start as many seeds, I would just kind of get some in my fingers, um, drizzle them on, and then if I had, you know, a couple or like 10 per little seed cell, I just cut them back and it would be fine. Well, now that I'm starting so many more seeds, I kind of want to actually count them out because that's such a waste, you know, when you're starting a lot of seeds. So I'm going to be using the toothpick method today. Where'd my toothpick go? Here it is. So basically the toothpick method is using the toothpick to put the individual seeds in the cell. And yes, it is a little bit more time consuming, but it will save you lots and lots of seeds. So, I'm gonna start with the Potomac Yellow, and actually now that I'm thinking about it, I need a little dish to pour these in. So let me grab that. Okay, so this plate will work perfect. Let me give myself a little bit more room here. This is a seed packet left over from last year, so I'm not exactly sure how many seeds are in here. Not a ton, but that's okay, because my hoop house patch is going to be a lot smaller than the actual patch that's in my garden. I think I have room for about 140 Snapdragons in my hoop house. Hoop house, I cannot talk today, um, which is why two cell trays are going to be perfect because the two cell trays are gonna give me um, 144 Snapdragons, so that's about perfect. All right, there is not very many seeds in this packet, so I'm just gonna use them all up. And you can probably not even see the seeds on here. They are tiny black specks like pepper. They are super tiny. So first of all, Potomac Yellow. I'm gonna mark my seed tray. So I just have these little tags and everything that I'm using, I'll link down below just in case you guys wanna order anything. A lot of the things I get off Amazon, um, these trays again are from Greenhouse Mega Store. The mister that I will be using, I just got off Amazon and it is like, total game changer. So I'll make sure to link that down below too. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and mark my seed tray first. And then I'm just gonna put my um, toothpick in water and then I'm gonna pick up a seed and then I'm gonna put it in the cell. It's almost hard to see like when it is gone. There, it's not on there anymore. They are so small. I should probably have my glasses on. And snapdragons need light to germinate, so you wanna make sure and sow them on the surface of the soil. Now, I get a lot of my seeds from Johnny's, and on the back of the seed packet, it will tell you all the information that you need to know when you're starting seeds. Um, but right at the top here, it says um, surface sow into open, blah, 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 blah. So um, basically that means it needs light to germinate, so you're gonna put the seed right on top of the soil, which with these tiny seeds, that makes it even easier. And I am putting um, two seeds per cell. It actually kind of works good to pick it up with the toothpick and then kind of take it off with my finger. So I'm gonna put two seeds per cell, so one, Oh, I didn't get one. Two. Okay, one row done. I am so excited to get these planted in my hoop house. The hoop house I'm getting, and I'll put a picture up on the screen, it is from uh, Grower Solutions. It's a 16 foot wide by 28 feet long and it's called the low side greenhouse. So that means um, a regular hoop house is like rounded all the way and then there's high side greenhouse and low side greenhouse. So I got the low side greenhouse. I also got the end kit where you can put a door on the end which I think will be really handy. And if you are thinking of investing in a hoop house, or a greenhouse, I highly recommend checking out this company. They are located out of Tennessee. The shipping I thought was really fast. They said it could be delayed because um, they kind of ship them out as they manufacture them, but it only took a few weeks to get mine. It came in on a semi, um, like a freight semi, and I had to unload it myself. It literally took five minutes. Everything was prepackaged so well. And I will also put um, up on the screen, if you use the coupon code SUNSHINE, you get 10% off your order on anything from the Grower Solution website. So they do have seed trays and those kind of things too. Um, but they have all kinds of hoop houses, greenhouses, um, shade cloth. It's just a really nice, well-rounded company. Okay, so this packet is sewn. I'm gonna put my toothpick right in the seed tray there because that's the last one that I started. I'm gonna move on to the Potomac Ivory, so I wanna make sure to get this marked. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these sewn and then I'll show you um, what I do next and where these are going under my grow lights. Okay, so I've got both trays sewn. I need to make one more marker because I ended up doing the first tray with the Potomac Yellow, Potomac Ivory, and then half of the tray was Costa Apricot. And the second tray is half, half Costa Apricot and half Madame Butterfly mix. So I need to make one more tray for this corner. And most of the cells just have two seeds in them. I think some of them I got three, but um, I am really happy with that, and it didn't take me very long, maybe half hour or so, that's not too bad. So the next thing I need to do is mist them in, and this is that new mister that I was telling you about. You can use a spray bottle, but you know, if you're doing a lot of seeds, your wrist can really get sore. So I ordered, oh gosh, hold on. First time I've used this one, whoa. Okay, let's try that again. Oh my gosh. 
So the tip was not on straight and all the water started running out. It just got on my table, it didn't get in my seed tray, so it's fine. But basically, you pump the top and then it's just a continuous mist, which is really nice. So I'm gonna mist these in really good. I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do pre-moisten my soil. You always wanna do that so it doesn't settle when you are misting your seeds in. And I like to pre-moisten it so that when I squeeze it, it kinda of stays together, but no water runs out. I'm gonna just get these nice and saturated. Okay, that one looks good. Put the humidity dome on, and I'll do the next one. Okay, so now it's time to go put these under the grow lights. Okay, so this is where they are gonna live and grow on. I have them underneath my grow lights. The vents on the humidity dome are closed because I wanna keep all that moisture in there. And then they are on a heat mat, which I already have on, so it's nice and warm. So these are going to stay on the heat mat until I see, you know, 80 or so percent germination till most of the cells are up. Then I will probably go ahead and turn the heat mat off because I no longer need it. I'll also take the humidity dome off and then they should just grow on happily from there. But usually snapdragons germinate pretty fast. So I bet within a week or so, I will see some really good germination from these. And I will make sure to keep you posted, but I'm so excited to get these first rounds of Snapdragons done. And now I just need to get my hoop house up. So, and you can also see below me those dahlia cuttings that I've started. I have a whole video and a process um, video to show you guys for that. So don't think I'm not showing you this project because I am, I'm just kind of doing a complete video of that. but. Really excited to have some dahlia started for the season too. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for a lot more coming into the spring. We'll see you soon.